What's up guys, Digital VFX here, and I'm going to be teaching you how to make a Skrillex style bass in FL Studio 10. So I'm just going to start a new project. Uh, no. Um, now I'm going to go to Channels, Add One, and I'm going to go to Massive. Um, and if you don't have Massive, I would really recommend getting it, whatever you have to do. Uh, get the CD from a friend, Bob. Uh, torrented I don't really care just go and get it because it is a really cool uh, VST and it helps a lot especially if you want to make dubstep so the reason for this video is I got uh, a suggestion from three different people and I was if the first person got it or suggested it I was like all right I'll probably try to do it and then I get two more and I'm like okay fine I'll just do it already so I looked up a little, started playing with a bunch of stuff, and I think I found out a way that uh, works really well to get this Skrillex-style wobble with uh, sounds like a talking bass. So without wasting too much time, you probably don't want to hear me blabber, uh, I'm going to go to Oscillator 1, and I'm going to put this to Dirty Throat, and I'm going to go in my piano roll, and I'm going to paste a bass line that I made. This will sound like... Alright, so now I'm going to bring the WT position to about the 2 o'clock spot, if this were a clock, and I'm going to use um, 2 o'clock, 3 o'clock, whatever, I'm going to use a clock as a reference for which position these knobs, because if you turn them, they do not have a percentage up in this little green bar right there that normally tells you what's up. So, um, yeah, I'll refer to a clock, so, yeah sounds like that now you're gonna also activate oscillator 2 you're going to make polysaw 2 the uh, the preset you're gonna bring the amp down to about 2 o'clock and it'll sound like this now I'm gonna bring both knobs closer the all the way to the F1 side on this little uh, routing switch thing I don't know what it does <laughs> but uh I just know if you play around with it, I think it sounds better towards F1, so just just do yourself a favor and do that. So now I'm going to bring this down, uh, the pitch on oscillator 1 to about 24, I found that is the best. 23 sounds too high and 25 sounds too low for some reason, so 24 is that perfect balance in the middle. So what I'm going to do now is go down to insert 1 and select sample and hold, bring, whoops, bring the dry to wet all the way up and the pitch about 90% up or about the five o'clock, four or five o'clock range. All right, so what I'm gonna do now is I'm gonna to go to filter one and do daft, and then I'm gonna to go to filter two. Oops, actually, I really don't wanna do filter two gonna bring the cutoff to a little bit up and I'm going to grab the four-way arrow symbol on 5 LFO and I'm gonna drag it to the first box in these three boxes of effects I'm gonna click and hold on the 5 LFO and I'm gonna drag up which will form this little half green half gray arc now I'm going to click play and that will be the basis of your wobble. Alright, so now I'm going to go over to FX and I'm going to go to Classic Tube in FX1. Bring the dry wet a little bit down. And the dry a little bit down. I'm going to FX2 and I'm going to select Dimension Expander and this doesn't do too much but it kind of adds a little bit of a reverb so it's just a cool effect. Alright, so now what you're going to do is go to Oscillator, the tab, out of these tabs, voicing, uh, routing, and you are going to click on 5LFO, select the triangle modulation, and the sine works too, but uh, I think triangle sounds a little bit better. The saw curve, or not curve, but the saw um, tooth uh, modulation wave will not work and neither will the square. So what you're going to do after you select the, uh, the triangle 
is you're going to uh, bring the X fade, X fade curve. And uh, that's pretty much it for your sound. What you're going to do for insert two is you're going to go and do hard clapper. Bring that all the way up and then drive a little bit down. And to modulate that, um, what you're going to do is you're going to go to... Uh, in the 5 LFO, you're gonna collect, collect. <laughs> you're gonna select sync and undo restart. And now you have this ratio thing. And what this does is the higher the ratio, the slower it uh, wobbles. So I'll do a little example here. So that's pretty much it. Um, to modulate this, besides pressing record and just changing it like that, because it's kind of a little bit, it's a little bit tedious and it's not as smooth as you'd like. It's not like a knob. What you're gonna do is you're gonna click that, just click it so it knows that you're tr selecting it, and then go to browse parameters. And here it is right here, modulation five number. And you're gonna go create automation clip. And now I'm gonna make sure massive is selected. And I'm gonna, whoops, see this is kinda hard to do sometimes. You just gotta keep clicking it. Make sure that FL Studio knows you want to do it on there and then it works. Sometimes it just takes some playing around with to get it to paste the right pattern if you're dealing with modulation and uh, automation clips. So if I just kind of like play around with it, I mean, this isn't going to sound good because you kind of want to form like squares when doing this because then it'll do like a change of, it'll do like a sharp change of uh, how many, oh crap. There we go. So this will, will be kind of be what it sounds like. <laughs> Alright, so that's pretty much it is. It didn't sound that great just because, um, I mean, it wasn't too deep, so I'd uh, change that in a uh, parametric EQ, and I'd add it to the uh, mixer, obviously, and mess around with the sounds. And also, it didn't sound that good because um, uh, the modulation really wasn't that good. It got too high of parts and it was too jumpy. I, If I were to really spend time with this, I would go up here and I would change. I would put one there and kind of change it at every single note. So it would be a different... It would be a different speed for everything. So it'd be kind of like this. And so that's pretty much how you make it. Um, you play around with a bunch of the knobs, and that's how you get the sound. Um, I made another one that sounds a little bit better than this. Um, I spent a little bit more time. This is what it sounds like. So that one sounds a little bit better. It's a little bit deeper. It's a little bit more volume to it. So uh, if you want to pause the video here, you can use these settings if you want. Um, yeah, this is one of my better ones. It's kind of hard to do it on the spot. I, I just want to make under a 10 minute video. So uh, remember, comment, rate, subscribe. Hope this helped a little bit. Um, it's been a Digital VFX production, and thanks for watching.